Fido, you've started consecutive games. How is it to be back in the team regular now? It's fantastic, you know. I've missed it a lot. As you all know, I've been playing, I haven't been playing so much this season. And being back in the team, you know, it's just been brilliant. What's happened? Why aren't we see, haven't we been seeing the Sido that we used to see? Um, there's a lot of things that's happened. But, you know, my focus right now is just focusing on ending the season on a high and helping Westbridge Albion, where obviously it's a, it's a tough league and I'm, I'm really blessed to be in this league and I want to give him my all to the end of the season and just focus on that and I'm not looking into the future or anything because that will take care of itself. I mean, I'm a West Bromwich Albion player and I want to help this team and all my teammates. Now you said you want to end this season on a high. What would be a high for you? Um, obviously contributing with the goals um, and then getting obviously the, the win that we'd, we'd, we need to stay in the Premier League so all of that that's what I'm, my main focus is on and just helping the team as well and where are you now in terms of fitness and, and, and feeling good in the team where are you I've started the last three games um, I'm getting my match fitness back you know I've missed it a lot you know um, it's, it wasn't easy for me but now I'm back in the team, it's about making sure I stay in the team and helping my teammates. Um, so, I, you know, I've just missed it a lot and I'm so glad to be back now and playing. Was it horrible sitting on the bench watching for so long? Definitely, you know, there's no football I think out there that would want to sit on the bench and um, see, watch, watch your team sometime and not doing well and you feel like you, you could help, but the circumstances around you were. Um, you can't, some certain things you can't control. So I'm just, I'm just glad I'm really, really back in a, in a team and now I can, I can push forward and, and then just leave the past behind. You tweeted a nice picture of yourself working hard in the, in the gym the other day. Have you yeah. been doing a bit of extra work as well? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, like, like you all know, I've missed a lot of football and, and I'm just trying to get myself back into match fitness and sharper again like I was last season. And so... My focus is mainly on getting back to what I was last season and finishing really, really on high. So are you hungrier now? Are we going to see a hungrier a Berahino? Are we going to see some goals? I've always been hungry, you know. Um, it's just, obviously, I couldn't control certain things that happened in the past, but like we're all humans and we make mistakes and, and I'm just focusing on getting back to my old self, really. And are you enjoying it here at Albion now? Definitely. I don't think, um, well, a lot of things has happened, you know, but people, I don't really think people know the full ins and out, but I'm just focusing, like, like I said, I, I can't look into the back, uh, to the past anymore. I'm just focusing on what's happening right now and what's, what's laid ahead for me. Now, we don't know the ins and outs. You can, you can tell us right now what, what you can tell us then about the, the ins and the outs. No, no, no. You know, like I said, look, I don't really want to, get back and in, look into the past, you know, I'm in a good place right now. We're all in a good place, um, get on really well with the chairman, so there's no problem there. So I'm just looking ahead now into what the future has for me. You get on really well with the chairman? When did you suddenly start getting on really well I've, with the I've, chairman? I've always got on with the chairman, you know, I've never had a problem with the chairman. Um, so. Well, what, what was that tweet in September then, saying that you'd never play for Jeremy Peace again, or did I? Did it come out of your pocket and you accidentally tweeted it? Yeah, that is something I look back and I really regret on. You know, um, I should never have said that. And I'm you, man. Like you know, we all make mistakes, and I hold my hand up and I say it was a mistake from me, and then I just apologise to all the fans out there that have always supported me, and also the club that always believed in me. Wonderful. Now, you're only 22, you've got so much ahead of you. A good season for Albion this year, I mean, the sky's the limit for you, isn't it? I mean, even the Euros this summer. Definitely, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, I've, got my, I've got my own ambitions, you know, and I do well in life. And, um, you know, like you said, the Euros would be, it's, it may look far, far from, far ahead for me, but like right now I'm just focusing on the, the, the game obviously on Saturday and what the what this season's got for me. Now in the past your your manager has said you know that you're young perhaps you've been distracted do you two have a, a good relationship you and Pulis and did you always have a good relationship? We've always had a good relationship 
you know I've never had a problem with with any managers I've worked to really um, so I can't really say I've, I've ever had a problem with him and I don't think he was he would say that I've had a problem with him so we, we get on well and I'm just glad that he's helping me get through this tough time I've had in the past and what does he do put his arm around you or does he shout at you what does he do no, all sorts it's not just him uh, everyone at the club um, they're trying to help me you know I'm learning as I go along I think this is my, my third season so I'm, I'm learning as much as any youngster will be learning from the, the senior pros and the managers so I'm just I'm just learning a lot right Albion at the moment eight points above the drop zone now most of us are sitting there thinking Albion are safe you're gonna do all right um, are you guys thinking that no we're confident in the camp you know we know we know we need to to get a few more wins to be safe properly and so we're just looking at our forward to Saturday's game and making sure that we we give our all and you know we're all disappointed what happened last Saturday Luke Gay getting knocked out of the FA Cup so we our main focus now is to play against Crystal Palace and ensuring that we get the three points.